It turns out the Arctic is melting, and it's melting a whole lot faster than anyone thought it would. That's bad news for bears, but it's even worse news for us. For one thing, polar ice reflects the sun's heat, cooling the entire planet. When the ice melts, the world heats up even more. But what's happening underwater is even scarier. Under the Arctic seabed are humongous frozen methane reserves. If they unfreeze, trillions of tons of methane will be released. Since methane traps heat much better than CO2, global warming will go into warp speed. We should be freaking out. But instead, we're celebrating the melting Arctic as a business opportunity. The Arctic is the scene for a new kind of international gold rush. America, with its lands in Alaska, is seriously interested. Shell spent $4 billion lobbying the government for permission to go drill in the Arctic. Would Obama's administration sell us out? Of course we are here because of our shared concern and commitment to the Arctic. The melting of sea ice, for example, will result in the possibility to develop newly accessible oil and gas reserves. Since the government was handing over the Arctic to oil companies, the only way to stop Shell was to appeal directly to public opinion. They're, they're going up and drilling, and the best we can do really is publicize that and give them an advertising campaign worthy of their company. We wanted real oil men to show up for what would be an obscene corporate party. We've been talking about having a, a spigot that spews oil. It's symbolic of turning on the oil in the north. That drilling unit, what was that called? The Culloch. Culloch is built by the company that built the Deepwater Horizon. It was actually going to be scrapped before they decided it should be sent to the Arctic. Our lead engineer started building and testing our very own Culloch. <laughs> This time we're gonna have five actors, at least, plus 10 more. It's gonna be like this theater production. We've never done a theater production, and Mike isn't even here. Mike is in London, Scotland, wherever, he's far away. But, you know, it's fine. It'll be a different, different thing. It just makes me nervous. The Culloch was docked in Seattle, so we decided to throw our party there at the iconic Space Needle. We sent out invitations to the entire Seattle business community. Okay. Oh boy. 7.05. Contractions are happening. I'm so nervous, even though I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm just walking on and I'm just hanging out, but I'm incredibly nervous as if I were performing. My mind is so blank. Even the words that have been scripted and that I will have in front of me, I am somewhat concerned that I will not be able to read them. Yeah, there's nothing to be nervous about. It's um, people, uh, what do you say to build somebody's confidence? It is insane how close it looks to the real thing. It's so you know. realistic. So let's put it like Uh, it's another one. Now I'm Googling temperature of birthing pool just to make sure that I'm not doing it at the wrong temperature. Uh, let's just put it up there. Sweet pea. Oh, it's Mike Bonanno. Hey. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. I figured this baby could talk to you. Yeah, good. I found a baby, so. That's very helpful. I've kept this a secret for a while, but I have another baby. You do not. I do. You do? I do. Are you serious? <laughs> yep. Yes. What? Wow. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's insane. 
<laughs> Who here has not had three babies? <laughs> Boy, I wish to lodge a complaint. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Welcome to the launch for Shell's Arctic Ready campaign. It's been a long time coming. Shell is very excited to drill for resources that are accessible for the first time in history. And to attempt feats of endurance that no machine has attempted before. For centuries, men, and dogs have battled with the ice. Now, finally, we're winning. For the first time ever, the ice cover in the Arctic has melted enough that we can get those resources. Oh, yeah. It'll be tough and it'll be dangerous, but it is possible. That's probably the main reason that our friends in the Obama administration were happy to approve our plans. That's right, and we're glad to have them on our side. Of course, Climate change is scary. The end of civilization, I mean, that's bad. But in life as in business, pragmatism trumps all. Drilling in the Arctic? Let's go. Yeah. We're pumped, yeah. we're pumped. Yeah. This is a scale model of the Kulik, which in Eskimo means thumbs up. The miniature Kulik is designed to kick off the festive part of the evening uh, by delivering another precious fluid uh, that we may imbibe. So we're going to pour a ceremonial glass here, and though I would like to be joined by our special guest, so the widow of the late great designer of the Kulik, Mrs. Enid Appleby. We would like you to have the first glass poured from the little Kulik. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, put your glass right over here, Enid, and we'll fill you up. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, my goodness! Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 my God! No, 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 please, no, no, please, please, no, please! Oh, no. Stop, stop, oh, stop, stop! Oh, my God, no, 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 no,